So I have arrived in Escalante now. It was a gorgeous drive from Zion to here on the scenic byway number 12. Highly recommend it to you. I am really interested in a hike called the Coyote Gulch. However, just because I'm doing a day hike, I need to go down to the trail in an area that has a really steep vertical drop. And I don't really feel good about doing that without the proper equipment. So I'm hoping that this guy can help me out in here. I read some good reviews. They weren't that helpful at the visitor center to be honest so I'm hoping he can help me out with some directions and some rope all right well I've got 200 feet of rope now so that I can rappel down the gnarly part of the trail so I feel a bit better now about doing it alone since I've at least got this guy okay just making a little pit stop at a place called the devil's garden because look at it so it's just a quarter mile off the little gravel road that I've been driving very slowly down, but the view has just been incredibly beautiful and there are so many things to see off of this road. So this is one of them, it's an easy one. Just gonna pop here before I find a place to camp for the night. Dude, this is one of the coolest pit stops I've ever made just like in life. So in order to respect this as much as possible and to promote respecting it as much as possible, I'm not gonna climb all over the rocks, even though it's really tempting. <laughs> Hello guys from the water tank. And it was really not an enjoyable drive, the last part here, the last like four miles or so. It was down this smaller side access road. And honestly, it would have been much better with a four by four. You know, obviously these guys, don't have one, so they managed to make it here too. Um, this is the water tank. I pictured it being more tanky, but anyway, I'm excited to start the hike tomorrow. It's just maybe just gonna be me camping here tonight. There's no one in these cars, so I think compared to Zion, it won't be too many people. We'll see. It's like so incredible because I'm realizing that I am the only person out here. In every direction that I look, I don't see anyone or anything except for two empty cars. So they're like, I'm, that's such a cool feeling actually. I thought it would be terrifying, but it's, the sunset was so beautiful and actually it like feels really cool. To feel solitary here is really kind of special. Good morning! It's about 6.45 and I'm the only one out here! And it was a gorgeous sunrise. I might have hit the snooze button a couple times, but I still saw it. And I'm getting ready to get out there. All right, let's go. So far it looks good. Lots of footprints and then this rock stupa is a pretty good indicator that things are all right. So next we'll be scrambling down that 200 foot drop. Man, I'm starting to see what I'm in for now. That looks so steep. I'm gonna have to repel down that. Oh my God. Okay, so that is where I'm heading straight down there. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Um, there's already a rope there, so I'm really happy to see that actually. That's a really good indication that I went the right way. <laughs> I brought my own rope though, and it's brand new and I trust it. So I'm gonna use my rope and then use the other one as a backup. Okay, what I think is the hard part is done. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna be more like a sheer drop. I think it would have been doable without the rope, but it was just nice to have it there as like insurance. It actually freaked me out more flying my drone, filming myself and trying not to push buttons on the remote as I went. So it was fun. And now I'm excited to see what else is here. I've uh, skipped ahead by climbing down that rock to get down here and it's really major. It's awesome. This is so 
so, 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 so cool. This really nice couple back there, and they told me that there is a beautiful lagoon up here that I wouldn't have known about. Something lagoon like over here. Oh my god, I love those people for telling me about this. This is incredible. Okay, this is amazing, and there's nobody here. Like, I have to go in the water, right? Well, I know it's early to call it, but this is one of the coolest hikes I have ever done. It's just so many cool features. All the arches, the fact that there's almost nobody here, the fact that this lagoon exists. This is just incredible. Utah, man, it's awesome. Okay, well that is Cliff Arch. And that is the terminus of my hike today. It's been an awesome day, so I am gonna power back, but just gonna enjoy this for a little bit. Gorgeous day, gorgeous arch, gorgeous place, gorgeous life. All right guys, here I am back at Jacob Hamblin Arch, and that means that I am almost done for today. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for new videos every week, and I will see you next time. Bye!